Thank you for tuning in to Watch Sixto. My name is Sixto. Today is a pocket watch review. Haven't done these in a minute, but this one is lent in by Timekeeper Watch. Awesome dude. I was looking at his inventory and I found this beautiful Elgin. I can't remember what year this was uh, manufactured. This is um, a Masonic pocket watch. I think I pronounced that wrong. Pretty much the Freemason. This little gem caught me by surprise. Just sitting there. And this beautiful detail. Check it out. Look at that. The nice engraving. The detail in the case back. Even... The, what do you call it the the holder for when you uh, put it to your chain look at the detail on that man that is some crazy detail and the cool part is obviously it's working it's been serviced a while ago precisely don't know but Had a hard time trying to figure out when this watch was uh, manufactured. If it's uh, uh, 14 gold plated, 14 karat gold plate, or 18, or it could be 10. It's probably 14 karat gold plated. So you pull out the crown all the way to the starting position and set the time. I like the indices that they have on here, so different. That's pretty cool, even for back then. And let's wind this baby up. Look at her go. I love the how they put the sub second at the six o'clock, and it's a. Uh, Pretty much like a silver detail. Let's see. I'm gonna zoom in. Check out that all that beautiful craftsmanship. That is freaking insane. Picture somebody doing that by hand. That is mind boggling knowing that precisely. The precise detail that you gotta do. That's not like how it is, where you can pretty much, uh, what is it, um, draw in the blank. And you can build a cast around it with the detail already engraved and stamped. But this is truly a beauty. I gotta, one of these days, I gotta break down and buy me a pocket watch. Even because it's pretty cool, like how everything has all this beautiful detail work to it. I'm just wondering what the movement looks like, but me personally, I wish Elgin will was still in the business, uh, producing beautiful pocket watches. Who knows what they could have done? They probably could have be making more not just pocket watches obviously they were doing some uh wristwatch but you know the coach crisis hits nine times out of ten everybody is gonna fall and they're one of them they had the hang around for a while but yeah mineral glass Let me know what you guys think about Elgin. Me personally, I haven't seen one of these watches. At least not in them. Not in the pocket watch form, but I've seen some of them. Uh, creating some of them for wrist watches. But let me know what you guys think about it. Uh, don't know what the movement is. If you guys know, let me know. I'm pretty sure it's a pretty cool little piece. I'm not going to. 
take this apart to see because it's not my watch. But if it was, <laughs> I would have. But until the next one, it's a quick one because I don't know much about it. Couldn't find any more detail on it. But besides the blue and this, the the blued hands, even the second are blued. Look at that. They don't look painted either. Alright, let me know what you guys think. Until the next one, you guys are awesome. Bye.